don't want me to body shit but my swag and my lingo they copied it man they don't think i see on so foggy shit hey y'all welcome back to my channel i'm rebecca and today y'all can see by the title i'm gonna be doing this look this is my this is my natural everyday winter makeup routine today i use a red lip some days I go between a red lip or just a regular gloss. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to use Fenty Beauty Lip Paint. And that's what I did today. So if you want to see how I got this natural looking makeup, then stay tuned. But before you leave, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Since it's the winter time, I do a lot of like skin prepping because I have combination skin, so I get very oily here, and then I get dry on my cheeks and like my forehead. But in the winter time, it's like extra. So my cheeks right now are like so dry. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Farsala Unicorn Essence. Next, I'm gonna take the Tarte Drink H2O Hydrating Boost. And I'm going to be putting this all over my face as well. Now for moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. And I highly recommend this because I use this for a while now. And it's hard for me to find a lot of things that keep my face moisturized. Like every time I put lotion on or something, like two minutes later, my face feels like dry. And when I use this, like all day, like all day, my face is moisturized. Now to prime, I'm going to be trying out this Baja. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It is Baja or Boja. But I'm trying out the Pore Effective White Mattifying Primer. And like I said, some oily, I like to try mattifying primers. To stop my oiliness, I usually use the Milk of Magnesia I put on my nose. But I want to try an actual primer this time. I'm going to put this above my eyebrows as well. To prime the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Now I heard that if you put, if you set your primer first before putting on foundation, it also helps with oil control. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier powder and just put that on my nose and above my eyebrows. So foundation, I'm using Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. And this is definitely my go-to summer, winter, fall, spring. I love this foundation. To conceal my under eye and to highlight the rest of my face, I'm going to be using a mixture of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Hazelnut. And I'm going to be using the Mecca Aqua Luminous Concealer. And this is, I believe this is Warm Honey. I'm going to start with the NARS first. And I'm going to just let it sit under my eye for a little bit, just for some extra coverage. I feel like I haven't filmed in like three weeks. But that just has to do with school. The semester just ended not too long ago. And I was really busy with that, with finals and with work. So I just didn't have time, but I'm on my break now. So I'll be more consistent. Sometimes I wanna try doing two videos a week, but I don't know if that's what happened. Oh, and I just got the Huda Beauty palette, those small square palettes. I got the, um, I wanted to get the, the shade with like the cranberry colors in it, but it sold out as soon as I like tried to buy it. But I got the other one instead, not the smoky one, not the colorful one, but like the neutral, the neutral colors. I was going to use it for this video, but I thought I'd just keep it simple this time. And then my next video will most likely be using that, try that out, because I usually plan my looks. Like I try to, like I look at the colors and I try to see like what would go well with what. And then I do it. I don't try them out. I just like look at the palette and try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm a planner. So I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup powder. 
Oh, and another reason why I wasn't filming is because my hair wasn't done. And I was just being so lazy. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. My last video, I had a frontal with curly hair in. I love curly hair, but it honestly is kind of a lot to keep up with, especially if it's short. And also at work, I have to wear like a hat or like a scarf. So every time I wear a hat or a scarf, I get like hat hair. And then I have to fix it and stuff every time. So I was just being lazy with that. I just, I just didn't want to be bothered. And I will not come on here to film if my hair is looking a mess. So contour, I'm going to be using the NARS Contour Blush Palette. This is in the shade Melina. This was one of my very first contour um, palettes. For a long time I didn't use it, it's because I forgot that I had it. And then a little dry, so I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Quick Fix spray real quick. For brows, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow, and this is in the shade 30. This is the look I usually do when like I'm going out but I don't really have time to do a lot of stuff. Most of the time I don't even wear lashes but for the sake of the video I'm going to put on lashes. I'm so stupid. I'm supposed to put eyeliner on before my lashes. <sighs> Gosh. Now I'm using Marc Jacobs mascara. Lashes are on. This lash is struggling right now, but I'll fix it later because I don't have the time. For highlight, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier, and I'm going to be taking these two shades right here. I just realized that my eyebrows looked a little unibrow-ish, so I tried to fix it off camera. It looked nice to me, but on camera, I don't know how it looks. I'll just see whenever I edit it, but it looks fine in person. Now I'm going to spray my Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray. I have a lot of minis, if y'all didn't notice. I get the, um, the, I get the Sephora Playbox, Playbox Sephora Box every month. And then I'm always online. And you know you get the three samples and then the free, like, other little mini things. I always get those. That's how I got this. I might get the bigger, the one, the regular size of this. But this is a Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray. I'm going to spray this. And then I'm gonna move on to lipstick. And I spray on a lot because I don't like the overall matte look of things. I know in the wintertime a lot of people like going matte, but I'm trying to be like glistening all year round. So I'm first gonna line my lips with a regular brown pencil. This is actually a eyebrow pencil, but it's still brown, so. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Ultra Lip Paint by Fenty Beauty. I've used this once. I tried it without a lip liner. I know I've seen a lot of videos where people 
don't use lip liners but I'm not about that life so I line my lips with brown and now I'm gonna put this on It's crazy how everything just want to fall apart when I'm trying to record. But this is basically it. I'm going to set my face one more time with the Tarte Radiant Spray. So that is it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.